Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. First, let me say, for those of you expecting economics, I'm going to stop making economics videos on Dwyer70905. I'm going to shift those videos over to a different YouTube account, Esquire777. Um, the economic videos apparently have attracted the attention of even some economists and uh, the conversation is a bit too wonkish for the Dwyer 70905 uh, site. So go to Esquire 777. I hope you visit me there for economics videos. Now, let's talk about boxing. Let's get back to meat and potatoes. Right. I know this weekend Lucien Boutte is taking on Carl Frotch in a blockbuster in the United Kingdom. But as a gambler, I'm only interested in trying to make money, not necessarily picking the big fights. And I do think Boutte wins that fight. But in picking the fights that are going to help my bank account, that might be a little bit on the side of the road. You have one such fight. It's the EBU, European Boxing Union, welterweight championship fight between Luciano Bazooka Abis, and he's fighting Rafael Jakowicz, right? The fight is in Italy. Abis is Italian. But let's just say that I expect Jakowicz, who is a minus 200 favorite, to win the fight for a host of reasons. The first, of course, is that these two guys fought already. Jakowicz beat him by a wide, unanimous decision in 2009 in Poland. Now, I understand there isn't any footage of that fight, and I understand, at least not on YouTube, and I understand that the fight was in Poland, where you would think that Jakowicz would have uh, at least a crowd on his side. I understand all of that, but the point is Jakowicz has already beaten him by a wide unanimous decision and Jakowicz is a defensive wizard. Just to put it in perspective, he's only been stopped once and that was a questionable stoppage by Kell Brook. I know the Kell Brook people don't like me saying this, but it was so questionable that at the time of the stoppage, immediately when the fight got stopped, Jakowicz, who had not been down in the fight, immediately started protesting. That should tell you that Jakowicz was completely lucid against the fighter, an opponent who, quite frankly, at that point in his career, hadn't been significantly tested in the later rounds. Understand, too, that Jakowicz has fought and gone the distance with guys like Young Zavek, right? And so... My point is simply this. He's already beaten Abyss by wide unanimous decision. And really, he's only been stopped once his entire career. That tells me that Jakowicz is going to go the distance with Abyss. Let me go one step further. Did you know that two fights ago, Abyss actually lost to a 9-18 and 18 fighter? Let me repeat that. Abbas, two fights ago, lost to a 9 and 18 fighter. It's even worse than that. That film is up on YouTube, and you're going to see Abbas carries his left too low, and he gets dropped not once, but twice in the first round by a fighter with a winning percentage of 33 let me also say, too, it's even more disturbing than that. Abbas actually got dropped in the first round years ago by Leonard Bundu. Now, he got up in that fight, and because of a headbutt to Bundu in the third round, that fight got called a draw. But don't be fooled. He got dropped in the first round of that fight, I have to question his ability to take a punch. I believe he keeps his left hand a bit too low. He's vulnerable to 
a punch over that left, a high right hand. Let me also point out, too, that Jackowitz keeps his hands high. So it's not hard for him to throw high punches. Let me also point out, too, that Abis has a bigger nickname than his record, even though they call him Bazooka. He has a less than 50% knockout ratio. I see Abbas as an overhyped fighter who, on film at least, doesn't look to be that great a boxer and doesn't have that big a punch. And he's fighting a guy who's already beaten him, who is almost impossible to knock out without a referee like the ref in the Kell Brook fight. You're getting a minus 200 on Jackowitz, believe it or not. You're getting better odds on him than you are on Lucien Boutte this weekend. And here, Jackowitz has actually fought and beaten his opponent before. I believe this fight is worth a look. I like Jackowitz to win the fight. It's the EBU Welterweight Championship taking place this weekend in Italy. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.